Okay, Nick, to end this summer off, I want to recap and review all the things that we worked on and focused on specifically to help you become a more consistent and effective hitter. And the first thing that we're going to talk about here is the notion of timing and what we do to get ourselves prepared to swing. Remember, we can break the swing down into two basic phases. There's the preparation to swing, which is everything we do from our stance into our negative move and stride. And then once our front foot hits the ground here, there's the actual swing. So phase one is getting prepared to swing, and phase two is the actual swing. Well, as a hitter, one thing that we want to be able to do is to have a series of slow, controlled, repeatable movements, pitch after pitch, to get to a good launch position. And one of the ways that we do this is how we get ourselves synced up with a pitcher. Remember, a pitcher has three rhythms. The first rhythm is the slow rhythm. And when a pitcher's in his slow rhythm, we're simply in our stance. The second rhythm is the attack rhythm. This is when the, you're going to see the pitcher attack towards home plate and drive down the mound. At the end of the attack rhythm, what we want to do as a hitter is get ourselves ready to stride. And so what you'll see Chase Utley do here is when the pitcher's done attacking, Chase Utley's going to pick up this front heel and get himself prepared to stride forward, as you can see right there. The third and most important rhythm is the release rhythm, and that's right here. And so at the release rhythm, Chase Utley is all set and ready to attack the pitcher. And so at release point, you're going to see Utley take a stride forward attack with his lower half, and load his hands. And that's the rhythm that we're looking for as a hitter. Okay? So if we take a look at you before, one of the things you're going to notice when you first started is your rhythm was very inconsistent. All right, if you look here on this clip here, this is back on June 7th, 2012. And then we pull up a different clip on August 16th. 2012 you'll see here on the left hand side that you get ready a little bit late so you see here I'm into my slow rhythm and right here is my attack rhythm and I'm finished with my attack rhythm right there and you haven't really lifted this heel up or got yourself ready to go forward and as I continue forward now I'm in my release rhythm right there balls coming out of my hand and you haven't even begun to pick up your heel in this old swing there you finally pick up your heel, and there you start to move forward, but the ball's already on its way out of my hand, and you're a little bit late on things. And as a result, you have to rush the process with your swing, and here you roll your hands over and hit a soft ground ball to the shortstop. Okay. In contrast, on the right-hand side is August 16th. Let's take a look and see how you get prepared to swing here. There's my slow rhythm. And at the end of my attack, you're already ready, and that heel is up right there. You can see here how you get yourself ready and lift that heel up right here. And when I get to release, you're already starting to move forward and get yourself into a good hitting position. And as a result, you're able to drive this ball pretty hard to left center field. So again, the timing has improved quite a bit. Here at the end of my attack, we see you getting ready to stride with that little load and picking up that heel. And that's huge because that's going to get you in sync for the release point, which allows you to take your stride forward and load your hands back. Okay, so the timing has improved dramatically, and that's something that you're going to have to continue to work on because being in sync is one of the most difficult things that you had. It was one of the most difficult concepts that you had as a hitter and so the more in sync you can get yourself with the pitcher, the more effective of a hitter you're going to be.